This SSD, uh, after liquid damage arrived not too long ago, after getting it checked out, uh, it's not starting up on PC3000. So what we're gonna do today is do some uh, inspection, find out what liquid damage could have done to this device and see if we can solve it. Luckily for us, I have a donor unit, so if we need to steal or borrow any of the components, we can get it from here. So just quickly looking at the surface of this device, I can see where all of the liquid landed. Looks like simple enough job. If this power management chip is uh, corroded, we're gonna remove it. These capacitors that are in there, that look cooked up, they can be removed, but I will also uh, put them back because most likely those are some filtering um, capacitors. Uh, for stabilization of the image, I would prefer to have them in place. So I'll begin by adding flux and removing all of these rusty components. Okay, this one is on there pretty good. Yeah, these pads are looking pretty good right now.
Now yeah, let's clean this up and um, I'll give it a test. Okay, I have the SATA connectors hooked up. Let's plug them into a deep spar first for the monitoring and then we'll see what kind of response we get. So I'm gonna start third channel on this for the SATA and uh, let's have a look at what we get. Switch to uh, SSD, go to log. Um, so we got two lines here, but we're only gonna use five volt power up. We get some activity, 400 milliamps. That's a good reading for SSD. Apple SSD, we got um, ID come up, which is amazing. And uh, now we're just gonna go to PC2000 portable, open up a new task. Uh, deselect all the channels and just uh, run data extractor. Right, so here we pick the Apple SSD for the source and a virtual disk as the target. And it's a small SSD, only 128 gigs. We can start cloning. If we want to see the response, yeah, the speed is really good, 135 even. The unit may not even be full, so if it's not full, um, we probably shouldn't image the whole thing uh, and eat up space. Let's have a look at whether or not we have an encrypted volume or not. So. We got HFS partition here. HFS partition has a catalog. We can uh, go and uh, build a map for the catalog. So 308 megabytes, we probably already captured it. Let's see, yeah, it's already been captured. At this point, what I would do is uh, switch it over to work with copy only and uh, use a scan catalog option to duplicate and create a virtual disk. Once that's done, we can actually select what files uh, the client wants and target them directly. So if this was a system drive, it will also come with a bunch of stuff clients usually don't need. And uh, most of the important data will be kept in a user profile like desktop folder, documents folder, pictures folder, these kind of things. We can target them, build a map for them. And if that makes up, I don't know, 30, 40 gigs, uh, it will save us quite a bit of time on imaging. So that's how the process is done. I'm lucky this was fairly easy and uh, I had a donor for this. Um, but yeah, you can see how liquid damage SSDs can be restored. Usually it comes down to something that fried and that something needs to be replaced. Uh, thanks for watching. If you um, have a device that needs uh, work done on it, uh, feel free to reach out. Our contact details are in the description box and uh, on the screen. If you uh, need the service, feel free to uh, drop us a line and we'll help you out. For those of you who are new here, please subscribe if you're interested in data recovery. And don't forget to hit like and share this video, comment below for the algorithm. Thank you guys for your time and I'll see you in the next episode.